Hi and welcome to a new vault log. This will be a short one. I just want to show you a small project I've put together today. I can hardly call this a project because it's very simple, but I figured I should show this anyway because it's, I think it's a good idea and uh, many people might be interested in this. Before we get started, let me ask you something about the YouTube channel. Do you like the new thumbnails I'm using for videos? Uh, just a picture with no text. The green text I was using previously was blocking the image too much, so I decided to stop using it. And I think it was not very useful since that info is in the title as well. I might use it from time to time just to signal something. Anyway, let me know in the comment section what you think about that. Now, about my little project, it all started a few days ago when I was talking with a friend and he suggested since we do most of our phone charging at night, why not charge them at a lower rate for increased battery life? As you may know, when you increase the charging current, charging happens faster at the expense of battery life. You get fewer uh, battery cycles before it starts losing its capacity. So I decided to build this uh, small gadget that goes between the USB output of uh, a charger and the USB plug from my uh, charging cable. In my case, I have an iPhone and the charging current can be limited to 500 milliamps by having a set of resistors on the USB data lines. My iPhone 6S has a 1.7 amp hour battery and that usually charges at 1.5 amps, which takes about one and a half hour for a full charge. By limiting the current to just 500 milliamps, a full charge would be done in uh, three and a half hours, but that's perfectly fine considering the fact that it's connected all night. So I took the USB plug from this old broken flash drive and the USB female socket is one of those uh, eBay types intended for replacement on motherboards. I've uh, mechanically connected the two by soldering. I hope this will be enough uh, to provide enough rigidity. Plus 5 volts and ground are connected straight through between the uh, two connectors. D plus and D minus from the male plug are left floating while D plus and D minus from the um, female plug are connected to resistor dividers as shown in this schematic with these values for 500 milliamp hour uh, charging current. I needed a nice platform for soldering the resistors without creating too much of a mess so I remembered I have this old power bank PCB I designed and this had pads for such uh, resistors on the data lines. I used the uh, Dremel to cut out just the part uh, that I needed from the circuit and I have uh, attached it to the um, uh, USB socket. Next I soldered the resistors and everything worked as expected. I always keep my old uh, PCBs just for scenarios uh, like this where I need to harvest them for organs. Now all I have to do is apply some uh, heat shrink, maybe some hot glue inside uh, on the uh, connections and uh, I have this uh, neat little gadget that I can use when I charge my phone at night. I'm pretty sure this will increase the lifespan of the battery as there is uh, research on the subject and charging these LiPos at a lower rate does increase their lifespan. This should also be possible for other phones or tablets just that the uh, values of the resistors might be different uh, for the same uh, 500 milliamp uh, charging current. So you need to google that yourself and find out what resistor values you need to use for your particular phone. This is how everything looks in the end with some heat shrink applied. As you can see quite a compact uh, gadget. So this will go on my charger and uh, on this end I plug my charging cable and now charging is limited to 500 milliamps. That was all for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, very short video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you next time.